Hello everyone, welcome to Hearthstone, or Hearthstone, depending on how you want to pronounce it, I've heard both ways. If you're a new viewer, then hello, welcome. If you're a subscriber, then you're probably wondering what the hell am I doing playing this? Because this is not the usual type of game I play. I usually like adventure games, and horror games, and story-based games. Not CCGs, computer card games. I almost never play highly competitive games like this. Practically never. So it is v a very strange thing that I'm actually playing this. So this, that bears some explanation. And in fact, I don't even myself really know why I'm so... I don't know, enamored? Is that the right word? I'm so attracted to Hearthstone? I don't know. Here's what happened, basically. I had no idea what it was. It kind of popped up and it started getting popular. I watched some streams of people playing it. And I had no idea what the hell was going on, because I have never played a card game, ever. Never. As a kid, I used to play, I'm doing air quotes, I used to play Pokemon, but I didn't really play it. I just collected the cards, and they were kind of pretty, and I looked at them, and that's it. I never actually played it. I've never played a card game, ever. I don't know how they work. But I was watching streams of people playing Hearthstone, and just freaking fell in love with it, and got completely addicted to it. And at this point, I've watched... So much, so many videos and so many streams of people playing Hearthstone, it is insane and probably not healthy. Probably 50 plus hours, I would bet, of people playing this game. So yeah, I got completely addicted to it, even though I've never played a card game before. I'm not exactly sure why, but it is very, very attractive to me. It's just so much fun. So... Yeah, I was just, I kept watching streams, and the game is currently in closed beta. So, you can basically throw your... You can just sign up to have a chance to get a beta key. And they just send them out randomly, in batches. So I just signed up for that a while ago, and just kept watching people play, and finally I actually got my key. I've been playing it for, eh, like, three days, maybe. I think at this point, three to four days. So I've played a little bit. But I have very... Very little experience. I think I've played less than a dozen games. Yeah, I've played less than a dozen games, I think. And I've only played Mage. So I have very little actual experience playing the game. However, I have a shit ton of experience watching the game. How well watching will translate into playing, I don't know. We're about to find out. So in case you'd like to play the game yourself, um, I will have a link in the description to... I guess the Blizzard website, I mean, everybody knows how to find Blizzard, right? They're, they're a pretty big company. They're not exactly an indie. But, yeah, you can throw your name in there and attempt to get into the closed beta. However, I believe the open beta is going to be... It's going to be going open beta very, very soon. I believe it's expected to be by the end of the month. So, yeah, you should be able to play it very soon. Even if you can't get into the closed beta. And I feel like I didn't finish my train of thought. What was I going to say? Oh, yes. So my plan is to have each episode be one arena run. So each episode will be an entire arena run. Regardless of whether I go 0-3, that is 0 wins, 3 losses, which means that your arena run dies and is ended. I'll explain more about what an arena run actually is, by the way. So even if I go 0-3... That'll be an entire video, and if I go 9-0 and win 9 times, which is the maximum number of times you can win at the moment, and lose 0 times, which is extremely unlikely, if that happens, that will be an entire video. So each video will be one arena run. And I'm sure the title says arena run number one, or something of the sort. And that is very true, because I have never played arena. This will literally be my first arena run ever. So my intention is to basically document each arena run from the very beginning which I think is going to be very interesting. Because you'll be able to see my skills improve from the very first one. However, keep in mind, again, since this is my very first one, I'm not going to be doing great. I I can pretty much guarantee you I'm not going to be doing great. You're not going to see any MLG strats. I'm not a pro player. I don't pretend to be. I'm probably going to be very bad at the beginning, as any new player probably would be. So if you're looking for great plays and great strategy, look somewhere else. If you're the kind of gamer who is driven insane when people make misplays and fuck up, you're going to be pissed off. Because I am going to make misplays. I have already done some very stupid stuff in the limited number of games that I've played and constructed. But I'll do my best. Any advice is, of course, appreciated. 
Just, you know, don't yell at me. Advice is good. Yelling is not. Let's see, there's something else to mention. Oh yeah, so I'm not going to explain... Uh, this isn't going to be a guide on how to play the game, so I don't want to explain everything. However, if you are... Uh, new to this game, or just computer card games in general, as I was... Um, I will be explaining a little bit of how it works, just to kind of get you started. But trust me, it's a very simple game. It really is very simple. It's easy to understand, so even if you don't know how to play, and you think you might be completely lost, don't worry. It will make sense, trust me, you'll be able to figure out, figure it out on your own. Because that's exactly what I did. I had no guides or anything like that, I just watched people play, and very quickly it just made complete sense. It really is a very simple game. It's a game that's... what's the term? It's uh, easy to learn, hard to master? Or something like that? Yeah. I thought there was something else I was going to mention. I think that's it. Is that it? I guess that's pretty much it. So yeah, let me just explain what Arena is. So Arena is one of the, I guess, two game modes. Yeah, there's Constructed and Arena. Constructed means that you construct your deck out of the cards that you have available to you. And you can get, you can get more cards using uh, by uh, buying packs and things like that. So you construct a deck, and then you take it out for a spin and play it. However, Arena is a bit different. In Arena, it's... Basically, you don't get to pre-construct your deck. You don't get to pick and choose exactly what you want. Instead, when you start a new Arena run, you are presented with a selection, as you can see here, of three separate heroes, of which there are... How many heroes are there in the game? Eight or nine, I think? Something like that. So yes, you're presented with a random selection of heroes. You choose one of those, and then... Since your deck can be up to 30 cards, you are then presented with a selection of... One of... well, you're presented with a selection of three cards. To fill up slot number one of your deck. So, for the first card in your deck, you can select between three different cards, and you have to pick one. And then for the second card in your deck, you can select from a selection of three. So, you're presented with a sort of random selection. And so you're not going to end up, you're probably not going to end up with an ideal deck. So it has, it's really interesting the way it works out. It's kind of like, I don't know, it's like a, a mixture of, it's got kind of like a, a gamble to it. Because you can pick a card and gamble on getting a different card later because you can't pre-construct the whole thing. Like, oh, I hope I get another card that will, that will um, mix well with this one. And stuff like that. So drafting itself, which is picking your cards, is a skill in and of itself. It's really interesting. So yeah, that's basically what Arena is, and you can... Um, your Arena run will go till you either get 9 wins, which is the maximum number at the current time, or when you get 3 losses. And my personal goal is to get to at least 3 wins. Because if I get to at least 3 wins, then I will at least have won as many times as I've lost. Which will make me very happy. If I can get better than that, then that is amazing. But if I at least get to 3-3, three, three, I'm happy. It's a low goal to set for myself, but that's what I'm going to set. I'm new. If I go 3-3, three, three, I'm good. Okay, so. I have one of three heroes that I need to pick from. The interesting thing is I've never played any of these heroes, ever. I've only played a mage in Constructed, which is how I've amassed my vast collection of gold. It's not vast at all. Actually, at the moment, I have enough gold to do three arena runs, because the first arena run, which is what I'm doing right now, is free. And new arena runs cost 150 gold, so I have enough more, and I have enough gold to do two more runs. Hopefully, in doing the runs, I can actually earn enough to do another one. We'll see. So again, I've never played any of these. Uh, okay. Druid, I have no idea how to play. I seriously have no idea how to play Druid. Rogue, I kind of know, but I'm kind of scared, because there's a lot of complex combinations using... It's just kind of complex. I think I'm most comfortable with Hunter. So let's go Hunter. Let's the hunt begin. Mm -hmm. now, pick a card to add to your deck. Okay. So this is the first card out of 30. And I have to pick from three. Alright, so I'm going to explain... I guess the reason why I'm picking, if I can. If I have a particular reason for picking any one card over another. Let's see. Injured Blade Master is okay. It's got a weird battle cry, which takes it down to, what, 654? Four, 4 hit points? No, wait. No, it takes it down to 4-3. 
yeah, so I'll have um, three hit points left, which is okay if you have heals. However, since I'm not a priest and my hero power doesn't heal, it's not a great choice. Emperor Cobra. Eh, it could be good for taking out something really powerful, I guess. It's decent. Abomination is weird. It's a taunt. When it dies, it deals two damage to all characters, which can be good, but also can be really bad. I'm going to go with Emperor Cobra. Keep it up. Why, thank you. Okay, Bloodsail Corsair, remove one durability from your opponent's weapon. That's just pretty shit. It's pretty shitty. Ancient Mage, give adjacent minions spell damage plus one. Uh, that doesn't sound good for me. Mana Addict, okay, these suck. These really, really suck. Mana Addict, maybe? These all kind of, this is a pretty shitty pick. I guess I'm gonna go with Mana Addict. Hmm. Okay, Magma Rager is pretty terrible. It dies extremely easily because it only has one hit point. Chill Wind Yeti is very good. Scavenging Hyena is also very good, especially with a Hunter deck. Since I am a Hunter. Especially with a Hunter deck. You can only pick it if you're a Hunter. So, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it's especially important to take this. As a Hunter. Because it mixes very well with your other beast sort of buffs and stuff. So let's go with that. It basically gets more powerful when a friendly beast dies. Which can be very nice. Stone Tusk Boar. Hmm. Alright, Booty Bay bodyguard, bodyguard, I don't like. I don't think it's a very good taunt. A taunt basically means that enemy minions have to attack it before they can attack anything else. That's what a taunt creature is, so it can protect other units. Explosive Trap. When your hero is attacked, it deal two damage to all enemies. All enemies. Um, that is a very nice thing to have, actually. That's some nice removal. I'm gonna go with that. Ooh, alright. Well, Blood Cell Corsair, pretty crap. Emperor Cobra, eh, decent. Savannah High Main, incredible. This is an incredible card. So it's Death Rattle, which means that's an effect that takes place when it dies, is to summon two 2-2 two, two Hyenas. So in other words, the total number of stats you're going to get is 7, 8, 9, 10. So you're gonna get 10 attack. And 6, 7, 8, 9 health in total, if you combine all of the stats. Which, for a 6 cost, is just amazing. Snipe. When your opponent plays a minion, deal 4 damage to it. Hmm. River Crocolisk, Ogre, Magi. Uh, let's, go for, let's go with River Crocolisk. It's a solid card. Since it's a 2-3, a, a lot of early enemies can only do 2 damage, such as this one. Which means this could potentially kill something early on, and still have one hit point left over, which means it's, uh, it's a pretty good chance it's going to two for one. That is, kill two cards, but only costing you one card, which is very important. Okay, what the hell do I have here? Arcane Golem. Give your opponent a mana crystal? Hell no, you don't want to give your opponent mana crystals. No thanks. After you cast a spell, deal one damage to all minions. That is weird. I don't know how to really, really deal with that. Um, Stampeding Kodo is pretty good. It tends to two for one because it destroys a random enemy minion with two or less attack. Just right off the bat. There's a very good chance it's gonna two for one. It's pretty good. Ooh, ooh, this is kinda hard. Okay, Mad Bomber is good. Mad Bomber is funny. Mad Bomber is insane. It deals three damage randomly split between all other characters, including all of your own. So it can hit you, it can hit your minions, it can hit their minions. It's a gamble. But it can be damn good. And the base card, completely regardless of the damage it does, uh, with its battle cry, is just solid. 3-2 uh, two for 2. It's good. Spiteful Smith. Um, and that would probably be very good in a warrior deck, but in this, in a hunter deck, maybe not so much. Tundra Rhino. Very good for a hunter deck. Your beasts have charge, because hunters are typically based around beasts. So it's between the Mad Bomber and the Tundra Rhino. Your beasts have charge. Your beasts have charge. Um, I'm going to go with Tundra Rhino. Arcane Shot. Okay, early removal. Stranglethorn Tiger. Very good. Bloodfen Wrapped. Oh god, these are all good. These are all actually pretty good. Stranglethorn Tiger is very nice. It has stealth, which means 
enemies can't attack it until it is until it comes out of stealth, and it only comes out of stealth when you attack something with it. So you can kind of keep it around. This is a beast, which obviously is very nice for a beast deck. Arcane Shot is early removal. Early removal is good, very good. Removal or another beast? Um, I don't think I need the Stranglethorn Tiger yet. Something like it will probably pop up again. Removal or Bloodfin Raptor? I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna go with removal. Ooh, looks like we have rares or legendaries or whatever the hell these are. Ysera. <laughs> oh god. Ysera is a beast. Nat Pagel, I, the last I heard was bugged. I don't know if that's still true, but I'm just going to ignore it just in case. Harrison Jones. Hmm, wonder what that's a reference to. Battlecry, destroy your opponent's weapon and draw cards equal to its durability. Uh, you don't know if your opponent is even going to be a class that even has weapons, so that's kind of iffy. It can be amazing. But... I'm gonna go with you, Sarah. Right, so my late game, well, I have Ysera for my late game. Storm and Champion is excellent, Elven Archer is okay. Uh, Murlocs pretty much just suck in, in Arena, so let's ignore the Murloc. With Murlocs, you really have to, from what I've heard, you really have to build decks entirely around them. You have to make a Murloc deck, which you can of course do in Constructed, but in Arena, not so much, because you have a random selection of cards. So, between these two. Do I want something big and stompy, or do I want something early? Let's go something early. Yeah, let's go with the Elven Archer. Okay. Cobalt Geomancer, spell damage plus one. Eh, not really important for me. Spell damage, also not too important. Acolyte of Pain would be good, uh, because I can use it to draw cards. Whenever this minion takes damage, it, you draw a card. Card draw is important, and at the moment, I believe I have none. Right? Yeah, I have no card draw, so let's go with that. Fen Creeper is a pretty good taunt. Freezing Trap. Eh, it's not very good. So either Taunt or the Chill Wind Yeti. Do I have any Taunts? Do I have any four costs? I believe my answer to both is no. No. I have no Taunts and I have no four costs, so both would be a good pick, I think. I'm gonna go with the Chill Wind Yeti. Oh, this is easy. Well, maybe not. Spellbreaker's a good card. Its battle cry allows you to silence a minion. Silence means that it takes off the effect of whatever's written on the card. So, for example, this card says whenever you summon a beast, draw a card. So, if the enemy played this, and I played a spellbreaker, and I silenced the starving buzzard, this effect, whenever you summon a beast, draw a card, would be cancelled. So, basically, it cancels the special stuff that's been applied to the card. But of course, the base stats are still on. It still has two attack and it still has two hit points. But any special effects are gone, so that's good. Garbashi Berserker, not so good for my class. I don't have any reliable way to trigger the whenever this minion takes damage thing. If you're a mage, that would work pretty well, because you could just shoot your own card, doing one damage to it and triggering that, but... Yeah, not so good for a hunter. Um, I think, st yeah, Starving Buzzard for a hunter deck. Yeah, some seriously good card draw possibilities there. Alright, Frostwolf Grunt is a shitty taunt, no thanks. Kill Command, ooh. Yeah, I want more removal. Kill Command is very good. Deal 3 damage if you have a beast, deal 5 damage instead. Yep. Hmm. Okay, Frost Elemental... Uh, I don't know if I need more heavy hitters. I should get more at some point. I do have a lot of 2 and 3 costs, but Unleash the Hounds is quite good. Plus 1 attack and charge. Mad Bomber is also good. I'm going go with Mad Bomber. I have a lot of... I have a lot of 2 costs. Look at the top 3 cards of your deck. Draw one and discard the others. Magma Rager, once again, not too good. Too easily killed. Unleash the Hounds. Tracking or Unleash the Hounds? Tracking's not... It is card draw, but I already have quite a bit of card draw, I guess. Because I have the Acolyte of Pain and I have the Starving Buzzard. I don't know if I really need it. I'm gonna go Unleash the Hounds. Hopefully I have enough card draw. 
Okay, Raging Worgen is can be very good, but I don't have any reliable way of triggering the Enrage. Again, that'd be better for something like a Mage, for example. So, Spellbreaker or Bloodfen Raptor. Um, I do want more Beasts, but I don't have any Spellbreak at the... Or, I don't have any Silence at the moment, and I don't have a lot of four costers, so let's get him. Alright, Dalaran Mage, not too good for me. Harvest Golem is very good. Very good value, because it summons, when it dies, it summons a 2-1. Which, for the cost, is pretty damn efficient. Kill Command is another very good removal. I think I'm going to have to go with the Kill Command. Yeah, removal's very good. Oh, what is this? Okay, Morlock... Murloc, War Leader. No thanks. Not a Murloc deck. Snake Trap is interesting. Snake Trap can actually be combined with the Starving Buzzard to kind of amazing effect. So the secret... A uh, secret basically means that it stays attached to your character and the enemy doesn't know what what the secret is, hence why it's a secret. So the enemy knows that you have a secret, but it doesn't know what it is. And it's when one of your minions is attacked, summon three 1-1 one -one snakes. These snakes are beasts. And the Starving Buzzard says whenever you summon a beast, draw a card. So if you have the Starving Buzzard out and your snake trap gets triggered, you will summon three snakes, which will give you three cards. So I almost want to go with that, but then again, I already have quite a bit of card draw, sort of. Um... I'm going to go with Snake Trap. I have a lot of two-costers. That might not be a good idea. I'm not really sure. I guess I'm going to go with more two-costers. Uh, I don't I don't really want to mess around with secrets too much. It's They're too finicky. Because you don't know what your opponent's going to play to trigger them. Like, when your opponent plays a minion, deal four damage to it. You have no idea what they're going to play. They could play a 1-1. One, one. And you just dealt four damage to a 1-1, one, one, which is crap. Morgan Infiltrator, it's pretty good. It's okay. Mad Bomber's definitely better. Okay, I need some higher costs. I have a lot of twos. Um, Thralmar. Farseer. Mm, Goldshard Footman is not very good. It just dies too easily. Wind Fury means that it can attack twice in one turn. Um, I need some I need some heavier units, so I'm gonna go with Frostwolf Warlord. Snipe, don't want. Multi shot is amazing. Deal three damage to two random enemy minions. That is some very good removal. I'm going with that. Okay. I don't want some higher costers. I don't need more card draw. Restore two health with this Voodoo Doctor thing is not very good. I'm gonna go gonna go with Chill Wind Yeti. Um, hmm. I don't really want the buff from the Spiteful Smith. But on the other hand, I already have plenty of card draw, so the Novice Engineer is not really too important, I think. I don't I don't have that much card draw, I guess. I've got so many low-cost units, though. It's kind of worrying me. I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Mm. I'm going to go with the River Crocolisk. Novice Engineer? No. Rockless Rocketeer. Reckless Rocketeer, sorry. I seem to be misspeaking a lot. Um, It's really hard to keep alive. It really is. It only has two hit points. It can do some crazy stuff if you got some good combos, but... No, it's, it's just too easily killed. I don't have any way to really protect it. Let's go with Unleash the Hounds. I really need some taunt, don't I? I, do, I keep getting these two costs. Okay, Murloc, Murloc, so no, no. I guess it's another Mad Bomber. Please give me a taunt. Oh my god. I'm not too happy with the selection. Murloc, no. Wind Fury, uh... Uh, do I need more card draw? I have the Snake Trap, which can combine with a Starving Buzzard, and of course any Beast can combine with a Starving Buzzard. And I have one Acolyte of Pain. Do I need two? I'm gonna go with the Thralmar, Farseer. Two more cards. I, I have a feeling I'm making a really shitty deck. Okay, Priestess of Elune, don't really care for it. Just restores four health to your hero. Restoring health to your hero is not all that important. 
That's a Murloc, don't care. Divine Shield is excellent. Divine Shield means that when you're... Um, the, the first attack, regardless of the amount of damage... Uh, the first damage that this character takes, regardless of the amount of damage, is absorbed by the Divine Shield. So whether it's 1 damage or 50, it will absorb it and pop it off. So in other words, you have to attack it twice. If you want to have any hope of killing it, basically. So it's usually 2 for 1, so this is a very good card. I could use some very high costers. Okay, Alarmobot, no. That's a weird card. And would be terrible in my deck. At the start of your turn, swap this minion with a random one in your hand. It's... It can be good if you... If you have a lot of high costers. Because for only 3, you could end up summoning something that might have costed, say, 10. But since I don't have a lot of high costers, the chance of this actually being worth it is extremely low. This is a Murloc, so... No. Flare. All minions lose stealth, destroy all enemy secrets, draw a card. Um, that can be pretty good. And it replaces itself, it draws a card after you do it, so that's nice. Okay, my mana curve looks absolutely bizarre and insane, and I think I'm going to get my face pounded in. Let's see, I have a decent amount of removal, decent amount of card draw, I have a lot of two costers. Um, how many beasts do I have? Two River Crocolisks, Scavenging Hyena, Emperor Cobra. I, I don't know. It's okay, I guess. I have a decent amount of beasts. I have a pretty good amount of card draw. Pretty good amount of removal. I have no taunts, and I'm lacking on the high end. I have no idea how this is going to go. This should be interesting. Okay. I'm probably going to lose. And once again, expect misplays. Your arena deck will expire after you lose three games. Yes, it will. If I can just get to 3-3, three, three, or, um, yeah, 3-3, three, three, I'll be happy. Oh boy. This is going to be interesting. I'm worried. This is my first arena game ever. Ever. And I feel like I fucked up. I think I might have. I think I'm going to run out of cards, because I have too many... I have so many two cost. Oh, it's another hunter. Why, hello there. I, will hunt you down. I get an extra card. I guess I'm going second. Okay. Do I want to toss anything? Um, don't really want Mana Addict yet. Or that. I guess I'll keep... I'll hold on to two Mad Bombers. Getting mad up in here? Oh my god, I have three Mad Bombers. I didn't realize I had three. Oh, this is a great starting hand. Three Mad Bombers and a Ysera. <laughs> Okay, um, so the coin allows you to gain an extra mana crystal. Those are the random attacks. Excellent. So the random attacks hit the enemy hero more than they hit me. Greetings. Greetings traveler. I'm gonna die. What do you have? <sighs> and it's dead. That's very efficient. It just destroyed a two cost for one cost. Mad Bomber or River Crocolisk? Let's go with Mad Bomber. Oh, thank you, Mad Bomber. You hit me with all three attacks. I'm going to clap for you, Mad Bomber. You dick. Alright, so that's just a straight up trade. It dies and I die. I guess I'll just trade it out. Nothing else I can really do. Yep, just trade it out. And let's get a River Crocolisk, and... That's not a good time to use Unleash the Hounds. <laughs> I could charge my River Crocolisk with three damage into his face. Ooh, not too good. Uh, that thing's going to be hard to get rid of. Shit. Okay. I could Mad Bomber. Or Wind Fury it. Hmm. Or I could just not even attack it. I think I'm going to Wind Fury it. I 
Actually, no, I changed my mind. Gonna go full on charge. Which now, of course, I can just trade that for that, so that might have not have been smart. But hey, I did it. It's done. I can't take it back now. Oh, fuck. Well, now they have a 4A taunt. That's not good. And I don't even have any removal of any sort. Well, shit. And I have to attack it. I have to, if I if I attack, I have to attack it. Because it has taunt. So I could ram their faces into it, which would do five damage. Still need to do three. This is shit. <laughs> this is really shitty. I... <sighs> I don't know. Get that because it won't die in one hit at least. And ram my face into it? Uh, do I? No. I, I don't I have no idea if that's the right play. I have no idea. He's probably just gonna yeah, he's just gonna try to rush me down. Maybe I can keep my minions alive somehow. Do I even have anything in my deck to do that? Because if I just suicided them in, they would have all died. Uh, except my charge. And I wouldn't have even killed it. Alright, so my other beasts have charge. Which means if I play this, it will have charge. I can do... Six... Seven, I could kill it. If I didn't unleash the hounds. Okay, one, two, three. Um, That's not gonna work. Alright. Okay, do this. Do that. Do that. Just kill them all, I guess. Gotta get rid of this fucking thing. Well, that cost me dearly, and I'm probably gonna lose. I have a deck that I'm pretty sure is shitty, and I'm playing all very shitty as well. Pro strats right here, and oh god, you have an eagle horn bow. Bring me steel. Oh boy. Pretty sure I've lost this. But hey, I have Ysera, if I can live long enough to play it, which I can't. I'm so dead. What the hell am I even doing? Goes to show that, uh, <laughs> oh, I have a Frostwolf Warlord, that's great. It'll gain attack and stuff for all of the minions that aren't on my board because they're all dead. Wait, is it just—is he just gonna kill me next turn? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm dead next turn. I wonder. I'm literally dead next turn. All right, well played. Well played. Well There's nothing I could do. There's literally no way for me to survive. I just lost it. Alright, well, this is going well so far. <laughs> my terrible mana curve and my terrible playing is turning out very well. Yeah, so as you can see, watching a lot of people playing Hearthstone is not the same thing as becoming pro at it yourself. Nope. It's interesting, actually, how watching someone play... I don't know, my mindset when watching someone play is not of trying to necessarily become better at the game, although... It wasn't before I played the game. Before I played the game, I was watching people for fun. Now that I actually have it, and I can play it, I'm watching people more critically and really trying to understand their moves. So most of the time I watched before, I wasn't, like, critically watching them trying to figure out how to play. I wasn't, like, studying them. Now I kind of am.
All right. Versus Jaina. A mage. You asked for it. Let the hunt begin. Ooh, Mad Bomber multi-shot. Pretty good. Oh, that is not good. I have, like, n almost no high costers. Why am I getting them all at the beginning? No, no, do I want multi-shot? I do. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> Double Mad Bomber. I drafted such a weird deck. What the hell do I have? Greetings. Greetings traveler. Ooh, there's my early removal. That's actually gonna be very nice. Uh, Coin Mad Bomber? Yep. Oh! Hurt me more than hurt the enemy. That's great. Good job, Mad Bomber. Why did I draft so many Mad Bombers again? Alright, so they don't really have any plays, which is good for me. I can draft another Mad Bomber. Or play another Mad Bomber if I want. Which I guess I pretty much have to. See, the thing is, my other Mad Bomber could kill my first Mad Bomber. So... Instead of doing that... Well, do I want to play it? I kind of do. Actually, no. There's a very good chance it's going to kill. No. Okay, it's probably going to kill that Mad Bomber, so I'm just going to use my hero power. And end it. Yeah, the chance of it killing that Mad Bomber is pretty high. So instead I'm just going to do some early damage. Oh, wait a minute, but it... See, the enemy's just gonna do that. Although, to take up their mana and use up their turn, maybe that wasn't so bad? I don't know. Yes, Sarah! Oh, hi! I'll probably never live long enough to play you. Mad Bomber! Alright. Okay, Mad Bomber. That evens out the last time. You hurt them, too. Hurt me one. What have you got? Removal? Creature? What is it? Oh. That can quickly get out of control. For example, like it just did. I can't even kill it with an arcane shot. I could just trade. I could multi-shot, but that would be extremely inefficient. I really don't want to do that. I could get super lucky with another Mad Bomber. My magic will tear you apart. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute, this might work. Okay. Nope, I was gonna say if I could hit the Mana Worm once, I could Arcane Shot it, but it didn't work. Alright. I, I just didn't Hero Power, did I? Oh fuck, I didn't Hero Power. I had two mana and I didn't hero power. Oh my god. Misplay. Also, I have no idea what that secret is. No idea. I don't really... I haven't memorized the secrets. Alright, that makes spells cost one less, so I really want to kill that now. Which I can do with an arcane shot. I also want to kill that. Which, oh, this actually is going to work out pretty well for me. Depending on what that secret is. What is that secret? Is that going to trigger it? No. And then I can just kill this thing outright and still leave this alive. Of course, it's going to pick it off next turn. And then... Let's do that. Alright. So... They could choose between using Fire Blast to either pick off the Mad Bomber or playing off the Divine Shield. Yep, it's going to take that off, which probably is the most important thing. But then this might be able to two for one because he still has a Divine Shield. We're going to play next turn. Six. I have six. I could multi-shot and then Hero Power. Which would not be a good idea. Yeah, that's... um. That's not such a great play, because I could just kill it and still leave this thing perfectly fine. Let's see. Alright, kill it. And then just chill in Yeti, get some power on the board, hero power, do some damage to them. Okay, I'm actually doing okay. I'm actually doing okay. How am I doing okay? Am I playing well? I don't think I am. 
Is my deck good? Did I draft a good build? I don't think I did. And they polymorph it. And it's gonna they're gonna pling it off, right? Yep. But it's okay, they don't have anything on the board. Um Alright, let's just see what this is. Ice Bear, as soon as your hero is attacked, you gain 8 armor, so it's basically plus 8 health. Alright, that's fine. And let's just play both of these. Get my creatures out on the board. In two more turns, I can play Ysera. Which will be quite nice. As far as next turn goes, uh, well, I can multi-shot to destroy their... Oh, okay, so they need cards. Looks like they don't have minions. And if they can play anything, if they can play two things, I can just kill them with multi-shot. Okay. That would... Actually, that would not die to multi-shot. Has five health. Ooh. What's it gonna hit? Three damage randomly split amongst characters. Please hit him! Yes, I get a card. Whenever this minion takes damage, draw a card. Thank you! Another Joe and Yeti. That actually was very good for me. Oh, Frost Wolf Warlord would be perfect here. Gains 1 1 for each other friendly minion on the battlefield. There's three. So this would become a 5 6 7 7. It'd become a 7 7. Okay. So. Um. Um. My magic will tear you apart. Yes, yes, I know. I am going to play this. Yeah. And oh shit! I was gonna multi shot, but I didn't. See, I just misplayed. Well, fuck. Remember, kill the lost. Alright, that was dumb. I totally misplayed that. I didn't count my mana correctly. I meant to multi-shot. I actually don't know if that ended up being bad, though. The end result is actually okay. I have a lot of power on the board. I guess alternatively what I could have done is show and yeti and multi-shot, but then I still would have had to sacrifice a creature to kill it. So... Actually, that's not too bad. What to do? What to do? Yeah, I mean, alternatively, I could have ended up with a show and yeti on the board. And, yeah, I'd have a Chilwind Yeti on the board instead of the Frostwolf Warlord. And the board would be clear. This Violet Apprentice wouldn't be here. But the Violet Apprentice is just weak. It doesn't really do anything. Ah. Well, at least I get another card. And all of my damage potential is locked up inside of ice. Oh, sacrifice himself to get a card. Smart. I can kill that using kill command, but it wouldn't be very efficient. <laughs> I have two kill commands, okay? Maybe efficiency doesn't matter. I think Ysera is probably the play here. I'm thinking Ysera. Yeah. Unless you have a, a polymorph check. At the end of your turn, draw a dream card. These are extremely powerful. I'm not even sure what they are, I just know they're powerful. Yes, for zero cost, I can give a minion 5-5 five, five at the start of your next turn. Destroy it. Okay. 5-5. Five, five. Actually, do I have, like... I think I have lethal at this point. If this Frostwolf Warlord stays alive, which it won't, because they're going to sacrifice their Cult Master to kill it. I wonder. Yeah, they're totally going to sacrifice their Cult Master to kill it. Hmm. At the end of your turn, gain 2-2. Two, two. That thing is about to get buffed. Okay. Putting it just out of reach. Which is annoying. However, do I have a beast? I don't have a beast. Yeah, you're a beast. Um, right, so this will deal 5 damage if you have a beast. So I could play this and then that. So 5, 6, 7, 8. So that'll leave me with 2 mana. What is that secret? I don't know what the hell that secret is. 
Let's find out. Alright, that didn't pop it. Kill command. You're dead. Unleash the hounds. Um. No, let's not do that. Alright, what's I gonna do? Is it more health? Another ice barrier. God damn it. Another dream card. What is another nightmare? Oh my god. They're gonna have to do something crazy to stop me from killing them, because I could double nightmare. I could... Oh shit, another secret. Alright, you're plinging away at Ysera, but it's not dying anytime soon. Actually, maybe it is gonna die pretty soon, so maybe I should use nightmare. I want to know what that secret is, though. I really want to know. I don't know the secrets, which is a definite problem. Do I have lethal? I can't answer that unless I know what that secret is. Okay, I want to find out what that secret is. Like, right about now. What are you? Are you another ice barrier? Oh my god, would you stop it with those? <laughs> okay. Alright. Double Nightmare, I think this thing's gonna die next turn. What else can I play? A Beast, a Chillwind Yeti. A Kill Command would do five. Can I kill him? Four. four. I can do four and then five damage. Hold on. I think I have lethal. Five, six... Oh, I do have lethal. I do have lethal. Yeah, you're dead. Unleash the Hounds. And... No, I don't. You're not a beast. God damn it. Oh, well, whatever. <laughs> My Chillwind Yeti's not a beast. I don't know what I was thinking. Still, I'm in such a good position that, well, my hero power does two damage. So, unless they manage to heal themselves or something, I'm pretty much guaranteed to get it. I, I think I have it. My heart's racing. This is going to be the first arena game that I think I win. It's not guaranteed, but there's a very, very good chance. Okay. If they have another Ice Barrier, they could stay alive. Oh, I think they... yep. That's it. Well played. My first arena of victory. Somehow through my bizarre draft and my sheer incompetence, I have managed to achieve one win. How did I do it? I don't know. I thought it... Chillwind Yeti was a beast, even though it wasn't, although it kind of seems like it should be, actually, because it seems rather beastly, but... Hmm. Two of ten hunter cards unlocked. Cool. Win three games with any class. Oh, that's my daily quest. Well, if I can win two more times, I'll get 40 gold, I believe, which would be quite nice. Okay, I'm 1-1 one, one at the moment. So, as you can see, I'm not very good. I made some misplays, I did some stupid stuff. And you know what? With a lot of what I do... I'm not even sure if a lot of what I do is misplays. I just... the only thing I know is that I'm constantly filled with a pervading sense of uncertainty with my decisions. Which is not good. That's not good, because if you're... if you've weighed the options, and you really truly know what to play, then for the... you'll typically not... I think you'll typically not have to... wonder about whether it was the right play or not. Because you'll know. But I don't know. In this case, I'm just like, I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. It's not comfortable. And it means that I'm not very good. Because an experienced player will know what they're doing. They'll be weighing all sorts of options and thinking what could happen in the future. You know, what does this mean? What does that mean? Is this the best play? And stuff like that. But I haven't gotten there yet. But this is my first arena, so what do you expect? Were the opponent. Rexa versus Jaina. You asked for it. Another mage. I wonder if this is the same mage. I have no idea. I didn't look at the person's name. Okay. Um, kill command, good. Mad bomber, good. Unleash the hounds. Mm. 
I guess I'll keep... Actually, this is not bad. Acolyte of Pain. Do I need that? I... Yeah, that could be good. Unleash the Hounds. I don't think I need to Unleash the Hounds. Not this early. That's something you usually want with more beasts. Alright, I'm going second, so I can play a Mad Bomber. I keep playing Mad Bomber. Really early. Mirror Image. Ah. Alright, this is the perfect time to play Mad Bomber. Because the more enemies your... The more minions your enemy has, the greater the chance of the enemy taking damage over you. So let's see what he does. Come on. Hit one twice, please. <gasps> oh my god! I don't even care that you hit me. It actually... The chance of that was actually pretty low. To hit one twice. Greetings. Greetings traveler. Mad Bomber's representing. Good job. Alright, so what do I do next turn? Well, if I don't get a 2 cost, nothing. Everything costs 3. <laughs> Double Mad Bomber! On the other hand, it, there's a pretty good chance it's going... Well, it could just plank it off, so whatever. Yep. Well, that was pretty shit. But next turn, it probably would have just plinked it off. Then again, in doing so, it would have used up most of its turn because it would only... It. I keep saying it. They would only have one mana left, like that. Oh, okay. Or that. Oh my god, I have so many mad bombers. I can light a pain, or wind fury. Hmm. Let's go with wind fury. Should hopefully be able to get 4 damage with that thing. If I can just get to 3-3. Three, three. Alright, so next turn I'm going to have 4 mana, so what can I play? Um, I can either play one of my 3s, or my 2, plus my hero power, or any other card that I get. Ice Lance, what? Ah, oh, crap. Hmm. I think I'm going to be kill commanding, because that'll deal 3 damage. Yeah. I want the thing off the board. Goodbye. Alright, next turn I'll have five mana, so I can do a three cost and a two cost. So I can do either Acolyte of Pain and Mad Bomber. Oh, great, it's dead. Great. It achieved absolutely nothing. Never got to attack. Alright, alright. It's cool, it's cool. Whenever a friendly beast dies, hmm. Not a good time to play that. I don't have any beasts. Ooh. Ooh, here's a good play. Acolyte of Pain and Mad Bomber. If the Mad Bomber hits it, it's gonna draw a card. Come on, hit it, hit it, hit it. I dare you, I dare you. Come on. Yes. Excellent. Alright, doing decent on cards. Yeah, I wish this deck had more beasts. Ooh, that's a good card. That is a good card. I think I'm gonna be kill commanding. Hmm. It's a shame I don't have more mana. Okay, three and kill that. So I can use kill command. Um, I could summon a beast. Actually, that's probably the better play. Oh, wait. Okay, summon a beast. Kill command that. Five. That's all my mana. And then... Shit. Ah. Uh... It's not a good play. Oh, this is shit. Don't know if this is the right play, but I'm gonna do it. Scavenging Hyena, do I wanna do that? No. I have no idea if what I just did was correct. 
I, I don't know. Yeah, it just trades that for that, which is why I attacked them instead of attacking it, because that way I got the damage in. The end result is the same for them, because they lose their minion, and I do as well, but I got some damage in. Okay, trying to rush me down with a fireball. Whenever you summon a beast. Okay, that plus Scavenging Hyena would be excellent. So that'd be four mana, five, six, seven. That leaves me with three. Or I could do... No, let's do that. That gives me a card. Let's see if that gives me anything to play. Ooh, a River Crocolisk. That's even better than using my hero power. <laughs> I get another one. Another River Crocolisk. Destroy all enemy secrets, draw a card. Nope, don't want that. Alright, we're good. That was um, actually pretty good. So now if I summon another beast, if I summon another River Crocolisk... Okay, okay. Ooh, I'm seeing plays. Oh no, don't kill it! You son of a bitch! My plays! All of my plays! You just ruined them! <sighs> Eight mana. Alright, well, Stampeding Ko Kodo will kill that. Destroys a random enemy minion with two or less attack. That thing has two. Um, That leaves me with three. Yeah, let's do that. So this is going to two for one, probably. Kills that right off the bat. See the River Crocolisk. Yeah, we're good. This Flare. Hopefully it comes in handy. Actually, it will... It's probably one of the most useful cards, or... It's probably most useful for a mage. Which is who I'm facing, so that's kind of perfect. Frozen. Well damn. And now it does six attack. Well damn. Okay. Interesting. Can I kill that thing? I can do two damage, and then I can do one with that. It doesn't kill it. I can't kill it. I, I can't kill that thing this turn. Ain't gonna happen. Um, okay, I could do this. Take that thing out. Now do I do? What do I do? I probably should have played just Sarah, now that I think about it. Didn't even know I could play that. Your magic shall not save you. I really hope they don't have a flame strike. The good thing is, they are very low on cards. And I can play everything in my hand next turn and will have extremely powerful creatures. But if they have a flame strike, then everything on my board is dead except for my Yeti. Please don't have a flame strike. Flame strike does four damage to all things on the board. Polymorph. Okay. Right. So the good thing is I have a card advantage and a board advantage. They have no cards. It's very good for me. Savannah High Main. Is that better than Yasera? I think it is. Or is it? Which one's better? Eh, let's go, Yasera. What are you gonna give me? Yasera awakens, deal five damage to all characters except Yasera. Okay, that's good if Yasera is the only thing on the board. Otherwise, it's gonna kill everything I have. All right, what'd you get? Please don't be a flame strike. <laughs> Not that to be the end of the world, of course. Okay, destroy any in uh, enemy, destroy any minion damaged by this thing. So if it attacks my Ysera, my Ysera is dead. In other words, I need to kill it, which I can very easily do using that. Perfect. Ooh, ooh, oh, I can't play it. I can't do the Savannah High Main and the Rhino, because it would allow it to charge. That would be awesome. Let's just play this. 
And hero power, and we're good. Alright, so I almost certainly have this. There's... I think there's very little that could bring them back from this. Even a Pyroblast would only do 10 damage to me. Dream, return a minion to its owner's hand. Hmm. I think I have this. Am I actually seriously about to win another game? Okay. Never mind, they're frozen. Okay. Hold on, wait a minute. Four. I have six. I could do something funny, but I think it'd be stupid. So let's not. Do that, just get some more stuff on the field. Attack, and I'm good. I was thinking I, I could do Ysera Awakens, which would deal five, five damage to all characters except Ysera, which would kill the Savannah High Main, summoning the two 2-2 two, two Hyenas, giving me four damage potential, and the Rhino would give them charge. Well played. But that would not give me lethal, so I don't think it was worth it. I cannot believe I just won my second game. I might actually get to three. Three wins, the dream. Three, three. How, how am I winning? I'm not good. I'm really not good at all. Okay, um, let's keep going. I seriously was expecting to go... 0-3. I've already surpassed my wildest expectations. This is amazing. I'm not making good plays, I'm really not. Alright. Hello, Whoppy. Another hunter. Mad Bomber? Yes. Tundra Rhino? No. Kill Command? Yes. Oh, that's not bad. Not great, but not bad. I can't play anything turn one. Uh, unless I get a, a one-coster. I'm certainly not going to use Arcane Shot against the enemy hero. That would be very dumb. But on turn two, I could either do removal against them or play Mad Bomber. Kill Command is... Even if I don't have a beast on the board, it's still decent. Kind of. Ah, it's it's okay. Yep. Don't have one coster except for this, which I'm not going to use, so done. Yeah, I mean, deal three damage can kill a two coster for threes, which isn't a good trade. But if you have something that can wildly spiral out of control like that, it might be a good idea. However, I could just use Arcane Shot. Yep, goodbye. No plays will be had with that scavenging hyena. It shall scavenge no more. So next turn I'll have three, which means I can play Kill Command or Mad Bomber. I don't want to Kill Command that, that's a bit over the top. It's just Mad Bomber. If I get really lucky, both will hit that. Nope. Of course, that's wonderful. Thank you, Mad Bomber. Not sure if that was the best play. Ooh, that's a good card. That is a very good card, and it's buffed by the Direwolf Alpha. Oh boy. Savannah, I may Nello. Hmm. Explosive Trap would cause it to die. When your hero's attack deal two damage to all enemies, that would cause it to die as well as anything else he plays. I wonder. Yeah. Do you want to do that or hero power? Let's do it. There we go. It's going to make them very paranoid because I have two secrets. I hope they play everything else on their board before they attack me, but depends what they do, because if they do that, then my explosive trap. Well, okay. Up. 
attack me? Or are you gonna stay put? Okay, okay. Multi-shot is looking rather nice. Multi-shot looks extremely nice. Let's do that. Okay, now neither of us have any minions on the board and we're both secreted up. Everybody's playing paranoid. I think Savannah High Main's the way to go. I actually don't know what other secrets the hunter has. Yeah, let's go this. Please don't trigger. What the fuck is it? Oh, snipe! That's, that's perfectly fine. It can kill it with that now, but then it's gonna summon two hyenas. It's gonna summon two, two, two hyenas, so it's really not too bad. That's why the card's such amazing value. If only I had a starving buzzard, I could get some serious card draw from this. I'm assuming that when it summons the two, two hyenas, that that would trigger the starving buzzard, even though you didn't actually play a card, they're just summoned. Um, oh my god, I'm gonna have so many things on my board. I forgot about the snake trap. <laughs> Look at this. Three snakes and two hyenas. Oh my god, another secret. Okay. If only I had something that buffed all my other units, it would be incredibly... Mmm. It would be incredibly... Mmm. However, if that's an explosive trap, then as soon as I attack him... As soon as I attack them, everything on my board dies. Everything. So I need to pop that. Let's let's see what that is. What is it? Is it? Ex yep. Okay. It had to happen. It had to happen. And this way, I didn't play anything else, so nothing else got hurt. Let's see, five, six, seven. Let's do you and hero power, and we're good. Right. So I don't know. We've been trading shots a lot here. But I'm still at a pretty big disadvantage. Well, maybe not a big disadvantage. <sighs> yeah, that card goes through Divine Shields. I didn't even kill it. Wonderful. Yeah, I'm at a moderate disadvantage here. Okay. I could just kill command it. I don't really have a lot of good creatures for right now. I don't really want to use my silence. Um do I want to kill command it? If it attacks anything, it's gonna kill it. Yeah, I'm gonna remove it. Thing is, if I played the Tundra Rhino without killing that thing, then it could just attack the Tundra Rhino and kill it. Because it is poisonous. So I think that's my best bet. That's way, that way, if I get any more beasts, I can also do something good, alright? So we're kind of low on cards here. Well, I'm obviously gonna play that. And I'm sure it's all not gonna... Well, maybe I should play my spell break. No, no, I shouldn't. I might need it to cancel out something really nasty they play. Give your beasts plus one. Uh, not a good play right now. That would give me one more damage potential. And that's it. The charge wouldn't even take effect because the only one that's a beast can already attack. So in case I, give la in case I get like a river crocolisk or something, I can use this to get a little bit more damage out of it. Oh. You gonna go right for me? Or are you gonna buff it? Oh, okay, you're probably gonna kill my Yeti. Oh wait, I thought that buffed. Oh, give a friendly beast? That's not a beast. Okay. Let's see. I need to remove this person's damage potential because I'm very close to being dead. In fact, they have lethal next turn.
So, I'm going to do this. They lose all their creatures. I still have stuff on the board. Get the River Crocolisk out there. Oh, I don't even need to unleash the Hounds, because I have this. Which gives them charge. Do I want a spell break? I need more damage potential. I need more damage potential. Um, it doesn't matter. I don't like to use its... I don't like to waste its um, silence. That might be a major mistake, but I need damage potential because... I'm gonna die very soon just to this person's hero power alone. Alright, that's fine. So I really need to catch up with damage. I really need to catch up. Okay, that's good. Um, so if I unleash the hounds, hold on. Eight. Eight, ten. This would give me eleven damage, which isn't really a buff, but maybe I should just do it. No, I should save it. Right? I should save it. Yeah, I'm gonna save it. There's really no point in using it now. And it may allow me to get damage, it may allow me to get burst damage out next turn if I get another beast. Like, even if they can clear my board... Alright, that's gonna kill something. Yep. Even if they can clear my board... I could get a beast out and do this. And do some more damage. Please don't have something that charges. Please don't have... Deal two damage. Oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> well played. That was incredibly close. They almost had enough reach to get me one hit point. Wow. Three victories, 40 gold. More starving buzzards. I have already gotten three wins. Can someone explain to me how I've already achieved three wins? This doesn't seem possible. My deck is shit, isn't it? I, I think. I don't know. It doesn't seem good. I have, like, no taunt. I guess you don't need taunt, but... Oh my god, what... How am I winning? I'm already happy. Even if I lose all these two games... I'm already happy because I've achieved three wins. I will at least, at the worst, win as many as I've lost. This is amazing. Hmm. Uh, I don't really want Explosive Trap this early. In fact, I have so many two drops that I'm just gonna... I'm going to get rid of that thing, too. I have so many two-costers. That is... worse. Shit. <laughs> and he comes back. Ah, hello. Well, can't do anything. Greetings. Greetings, traveler. Next turn, I could play Mana Addict pretty terrible play, but... Please give me some multi-shot. That's not good. Do I play Mana Addict? Is there a point? Is there really a point to playing it? Not really. No. I really want to kill that damn thing, but I can't. I just can't. <sighs> yep. It's gonna spiral out of control if I can't kill that pint size summoner. Okay. Mad Bomber. Is that the best play? It is. Mad Bomber. Oh my god, but... Oh, it might enrage it! It might enrage the Raging Morgan! Fuck. No. No, that's not a good play. Fuck. Oh, that's not good. Shit. I'm gonna multi-shot next turn. 
If I play the Mad Bomber, it's almost certainly going to enrage the Raging Worgen, which is going to give it Wind Fury and give it plus one attack, which means it can do eight damage. It'll spiral out of control. It's going to spiral out of control if I leave the Pint Size Summoner alive, but it's almost certainly not going to kill it, the Mad Bomber. I don't think there's a good play here. Okay. This is bad. I don't know if I'm making the right play here, but... <sighs> Multi-shot? It could go well, it could go shitty. Yep. That is the best it could have possibly gone. Those were the exact two enemies I needed to hit. That is great. It got rid of his crazy Wind Fury Rage, and it got rid of their, um... Shields up. The Summoner. Alright, so I've got a big card advantage, since I haven't been playing anything, but they have a ton on the board. Two or less attack. So it'll kill one of these two. And that would be the only thing I could play. Or that. Stampede and Kota would be the better play there, but what about this? That's unlikely to kill anything. I could play that and what? Hmm. I'm gonna do Stampede and Kodo. Excellent. Got lucky with that one. Next turn I'll have six. What can I do? Ah, Divine Shield. Alright, they're trying to rush me down. Probably smart, because I'm rather low on hit points. Hmm. So I could Mad Bomber. Alright, let's do this and see what happens. Please pop that Divine Shield. Please, please. You didn't pop the Divine Shield. I'm disappointed in you, Mad Bomber. Where does that leave me? Okay. Shit. Well played. I don't think I have played well. Well played. I'm gonna squelch you because you're being annoying. Oh, you have taunt, god damn it. Fuck. Your magic shall not save you. I have absolutely no idea if that was a good play, but I just did stuff and my turn is done. Uh, this is what I'm talking about. I can't think fast enough. I don't like I should be thinking through permutations and thinking what's the best play. And I should be able to come to a pretty good conclusion. But I'm not. I'm just getting confused and there's so many combinations and I'm I'm not coming up with a clear answer. So while I'm doing stuff that probably isn't horrible, it's not good. See, look, my entire board is now wiped. I'm at a big disadvantage. Your magic shall not save you. The only thing I have is a card advantage. That's it. They have board control and they have health. All right. Hmm. Kill command could kill that. Which would take a lot of damage potential off. That would leave me with four to do what? What can I do with four? Basically nothing. I need to remove damage from the board or I'm going to be dead. Simple as that. Alright, you're dead. And I just misplayed because I thought I had enough mana to do this. Now I don't. Fuck. Alright, well, I'm probably going to lose this one. I have no idea what I'm doing. Probably just going to ignore it and just run for me, yeah. Okay, I'm at a point now where a fireball or a pyroblast is pretty much just going to... Well, not quite. <laughs> Their hero power alone could kill me next turn. 
which I have no way to defend myself against. Well played. Well, I had no idea what I was doing, but once again, I've already gotten three wins, so I'm pretty happy. Oh, what is that? Win two games with Paladin or Priest? Well, I'm playing neither right now, so that quest will have to wait. Alright, am I gonna go 3-3? Three, 3-3 three? Three, three the dream? Do you think I can get to 9-2? Win every single game after this until I get to the end? Uh, probably not. I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh boy. Warriors are nasty. Alright, don't need that. Don't need that early. Show one Yeti. Don't want to keep it. No. I have a lot of two costers. That's probably stupid. I probably should have kept it. Oh, never mind. It was a perfect decision. Should I open with Mad Bomber again? Actually, no. Let's open with that. Excellent. And then next turn, hopefully, I can do the Scavenging Hyena, and I could potentially sacrifice the River Crocolisk and get this plus two, plus one. I hope you like my invention. Which would become very powerful indeed. Yeah, let's do it. Should I kill that or just ignore it? Hmm. Let's kill it. M that might be a mistake. I'm in those situations. I'm really not sure exactly what to do. Like, what's the chances it could buff it or something? I don't know. Oh, fuck me. Well, there goes my plans. I've lost the game. GG. I don't think I said greetings, did I? It's okay. It was a good play. I understand. Mad Bomber or Acolyte of Pain? It's Acolyte of Pain. pain speak to me. Because next turn I can Mad Bomber and hopefully trigger it. Okay. Let's see. I could just kill command and ignore it. No, I don't like that. Let's do this. Please hit my Acolyte of Pain. Please, please, thank you. Again? Arcane Shot? Ooh. Oh, yeah, I got two cards. That is value right there. And do I just kill it? I should probably just kill it, shouldn't I? Yeah, goodbye. That was some very, very good value out of my Acolyte of Pain. Two cards. Totally worth it already. I've got a huge card. Well, so much for that. Rip in pieces, you served me well. Five mana. I could kill command again. Again, it's not a very efficient use of kill command because it's not doing five damage. I should probably save it for bigger stuff. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, this this is a good play. Just knock that thing out. That stays alive. And we're good. Alright, six mana next turn. What can I play? Well, that's why warriors are nasty. They can destroy all of your minions with their weapon. Face tank and everything. Frostwolf Warlord. That could be combined to amazing effect with the snake trap. <laughs> Gain plus one one, yep. Okay. Well, it's gonna kill anything I play next with that. They're gonna kill anything I play next with their weapon. Hmm. 
so. I can't do that. All right, let's bait it out of him. Not sure if that's a good idea. Maybe it isn't, but they're probably going to destroy the River Crocolisk with their weapon, which is going to use it all up. Then I'm going to hope that they attack me and play the Frostwolf Forelord. I want the Frostwolf Forelord out without them having a weapon. I want them to use it up. Hmm, I gotta kill that. Your other... All other minions have charge. That is extremely dangerous. Yep, now the freaking Yeti. It's gonna wreck my face. I can still play the Frostwell Forelord, though. But I should probably kill Command... Hmm. Does that give me a card? It does give me a card. Okay, cool. Excellent. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Ah, do I want a Frostwolf? Warlord? Should I? I get Frostwolf? Warlord? I think I should. Well, mm, no. No, that's not a good idea, is it? I don't know. Shit. Alright, I'm gonna build a beast of a Frostwolf Warlord. And then let's take some damage potential off the board. You know what? That was really dumb. That was dumb. That was dumb. I should have killed the fucking Warsong Commander. It had, uh, gives other minions charge. That was really dumb. Even though the Yeti had more damage potential, I should have killed this. This is of much greater value to them. That was a misplay. That means they can get some serious damage on me this turn. Yeah, there's three damage. Well, there's five damage combined. Okay, it takes it down to six. Is, are they going to sack everything against their warlord? Or no, they probably have something else to play. Some other minion. Or not? What are they going to do? Get in there and fight, maggot. Ooh. Yep. It was a total mistake to leave that alive. Complete mistake. I need to take care of it now, but I don't need to go to the extreme of killing it. I could just silence it. That gets rid of its special effect. Play that. All right. Got some serious power on the board now. I, yeah, I shouldn't have left that alive. That was so dumb. For a warrior? <laughs> For a warrior, letting that live is just, like, suicide. All right. I don't have a beast on the board, so kill command isn't particularly great. Next turn, I can actually play everything in my hand, but there'd, no, there'd be no point in playing Unleash the Hounds, because I don't have any beasts. That thing needs to die. Because its enraging is, is incredibly powerful. Ooh, Mad Bomber. Could be good. Maybe. All right, I think I should trade here. What's the best way to do this? Let's... Die, mage. Chillin' Yeti. Mad Bomber. No. Well, I mean, I could have kill commanded that and then... Mm, I don't know. It's gonna force him to trade. With that, whereas Mad Bomber might have killed it and taken four damage potential off the board. I don't, I don't know. Ooh, you need to die. That thing will go out of control, holy shit. 
Okay, this is insane. So that's the suicide thing that dies in pretty much instantly because you can't really protect it like I mentioned. Yep, and just traded that with that. So that might have been the right call. However, now we have that. However, I have kill command, which is one damage short. Which means I'm going to have to suicide my Yeti, right? No. No. We're not going to do that. Okay. Get my damage in. Mad Bomber. Mad Bomber, hit it once. Hit it once. Hit it once. Please, 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 please. Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, buff it up to as much as you want. You're dead. Ooh. Let's get that on the board. All right. All right, so I have a health advantage and a significant board advantage, but... That's about it. And then we're kind of on equals term, equal terms as far as cards go. Alright, so they're going to face tank my Yeti. It's cool, I respect that. Bit of a desperation play. It's a very bad value without any other minions on the board. Whenever you summon a beast, I don't have any beasts. It's actually kind of an awkward number for me. Because I would need to kill one of my minions to take it out. Um, I kind of want to just leave it on the board. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it. It can kill my bomber if it wants. Or it can pop off my divine shield. I don't want to play the starving buzzard because I don't have any beasts. So it'd be pretty bad value. Wouldn't really do much of anything except die. And at this point, it's really just... We're kind of on a card race at this point, so I really need the card draw. So I'm really hoping I get a beast, which will give me a card. Please, please, beast, beast. Yes! Okay. With two or less attack, that's not going to apply to that. See what I get. And wait a minute, hold on, hold on. Do I have lethal? How much do I need? I need 11 points of damage. Um, double Unleash the Hounds would give me... 5... 6, 7, 8. Not quite. However, it would be worth it to play it once. Oh, wait a minute! I forgot about you! Um, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... T I, I do, don't I? Yeah. Oh my god. I'm glad I recognized I had a lethal. I almost didn't. Whew. I can't believe I won that. How am I winning? I... Hunter's Mark. Six of ten hunter cards unlocked. I have gone beyond my wildest dreams. I'm actually above three now. I'm 4-2. For some people, 4-2 would be nothing too... Nothing too exciting. But for me, that is absolutely amazing. For my first arena run... I'm actually at 4-2. This is awesome. I'm still not playing particularly well, but somehow I'm doing okay. I'm really surprised about this. So remember, when drafting a deck in Arena, just pick all the Mad Bombers. Yeah, that, um, the Acolyte of Pain and the Mad Bomber play is actually turning out quite nice. It's a good combo. Oh god. Hello, Mr. Confused. No, River Croglisk is good. Savannah High Main and Stampeding Kodo, not so much. Way too high cost. Hmm. That's actually quite good. Nice. Yep, I'll play the River Croclisk next, and then the Scavenging Hyena, probably. And then if I need to sacrifice the River Croclisk for anything, I will get a very powerful beast. So let's see what happens. If it plays anything, that does three damage. 
or above, then the hyena will get some use here. Ooh, coining. Three cost. Hmm. Alright, that's awkward. So it would die, but it won't kill it. That's not good for me. That's really not good. Hmm. Anything I play is going to die, actually. Yeah. Yeah. If I buff it up, it's just going to die to the grizzly shit. I don't think I should play it. Do Emperor Cobra. I'm not going to attack it. Because if I play the Scavenging Hyena and sack this against it, it doesn't die. Scavenging Hyena gets buffed up to three hit points, and then the Grizzly can just kill it. Unless I have some way of doing one hit point of damage directly in my next turn, which I don't think I will. Knife Juggler is a very good card. Alright, what are you going to hit? What are you going to hit? Okay. Taking out my highest health thing, of course. Mad Bomber. Okay. Should I Mad Bomber first or after? That is the question. Or... I or... Okay, here's what we're gonna do. That's not good. That's fucking horrible. Damn you, Mad Bomber. It's not... It didn't really help anything at all. The hyena's just gonna die just the same. I mean, now it can kill the knife juggler at least, but that's not a good trade. It's a two cost for a two cost. It's, eh. it's a straight trade. Well, at least the knife juggler still needs to be traded with it. Or they could try to rush me down. Interesting. With two or less attack, which would be this, so that would kill that. Okay. Alternatively, what? Alright, yeah, let's... Let's do that. That kills that. Do I kill it? Yeah. Because otherwise, they probably would have played a bunch of minions, which would use its um, throwing ability quite a few times, and then sacrificed it, which would be, would be pretty decent value, but that way I deprived them of it. I guess that's the right call. I don't know. You can see I'm an expert. Because I'm so sure of all of my decisions. That's probably the right call. It, it's maybe the right call. I don't know what I'm doing. And you could... Oh, God. Friggin' weapons, and I don't have any swamp oozes to destroy it. I could play Chio and Yeti, but it's just going to die to the weapon. Damn it. However, a Silver Moon Guardian would not, because it has Divine Shield. Silver Moon shall not there we go. That's what the best I could have done there. Alternatively, if they have anything that can do direct damage to it, like a uh, Elven Archer, they could pop the Divine Shield and then face tank it. Alright, so I'll have seven mana next turn, which would allow me to play four, five, six, seven. I could play the Acolyte of Pain and the Chill Wind Yeti, or the Explosive Trap in the Chill Wind Yeti. Or I could play the Explosive Trap and the Acolyte of Pain and my Hero Power, but that probably wouldn't be a good idea. All 
right, cool. Try this. Oh. Another goddamn weapon. Right, well, that'd just be a straight trade. Which is probably exactly what I should do. Remember, kill for loss. Right, that thing only does two damage, so my Shilwind Yeti would actually survive. So would my Acolyte of Pain. So I shall play both. Both of those will survive. One hit from the weapon. If he wants to hit my Yeti, take four damage and leave it still alive, go for it. If you want to hit my Acolyte of Pain and give me card draw, go for it. If he wants to ping my Acolyte of Pain with something that does a little bit of damage and then face tank it, that would give me two cards. Ooh, look at that battle axe. That thing looks nasty. It's all covered in blood and gore. Alright, I really hope I get some value out of this Acolyte of Pain, because I seriously need cards, so I'm at a pretty big card disadvantage. Oh. Okay. Multi-shot. Hmm. Interesting. What the hell can I do here? I can get one card out of him. Is that the best I can do? This won't even kill it. Multi-shot won't even kill it. And it's a terrible play right now, anyway. Alright, I... That's not good value, but maybe I can play something. Destroy enemy secrets, draw a card. Do warriors even have secrets? I don't even think warriors have secrets. They do have stealth things, though. Do I need the card draw? Should I do the card draw? Fuck. I think I need the card draw. Give me a card. Kill command. <laughs> that won't even kill it. Alright. Not so good. Didn't get good value out of the Acolyte of Pain. Used Flare in not a very good situation and got a card that unfortunately doesn't help me at the moment, but it probably will in the future. I have a lot of removal. I have an explosive trap, a multi-shot, and a kill command. What the fuck is that? Illidan Storm Rage. Whenever you play a card, summon a 2-1 Flame of Azanoth. Okay. I'm fucking dead. Hold on. Maybe there's some plays. I have... N <laughs> I have all spells. Everything's a spell. What the fuck? Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Let me think this through. Five, six, seven. Okay, I could kill that. <sighs> I could kill that. Multi-shot would take these down to two hit points and six, five, four. Five. Ooh. Shit, how do I play this? Seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Shit. Okay. Multi shot, don't hit that little shit over there. Don't hit it. Don't hit it. Oh, fuck me. Alright, well, I'm still alive. But they're still gonna have seven damage on the board. Because this explosive shot is going to kill. The shield master, as soon as it tries to attack me, but Illidan is still going to be alive. I don't know if that was the best combination of spells, but I was counting the mana multiple ways, and uh, I had to think fast. Oh, great. Actually, it's okay. That thing's going to die. It doesn't matter. Come on, attack me. Try it. It'll take a lot of your damage potential off, but still leave a shit ton on the board. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god. What I would give for a flame strike. Here we go. At least it's going to kill three. However, that still leaves a massive amount of damage potential on the board. That leaves 13 damage potential on the board. Which is enough to kill me next turn. 
Okay, what the hell? Okay. Um, hmm. Mad Bomber? Mad Bomber to the rescue! Please hit this thing twice. Or once. Once? Okay. That's not too bad. I'm still alive. I'm still alive, just barely. This is close. What the hell? What does that do? It has charge. And if it gets enraged, it has plus six attack. <laughs> there's no way I'm surviving. I don't. I think there's literally no card that could pull me out of this. Whenever you summon a beast, draw a card. Hooray! Well played. Well played. Okay, I went 4-3, which is better than I ever thought I could possibly go on my very first arena run. It was full of a very strange deck, and a ton of misplays. And a lot of confusion. Let's see what I get. Was my reward. Ten arcane dust! Woohoo, that's nothing. That's nothing. Ooh, five gold. A pack. And 40 dust. That is pretty damn terrible. However, the pack itself is worth the equivalent of 100 gold. So it's not bad. Well, it's pretty bad. Oh well. Let's at least open the pack and see what the hell I got. Perdition Blade, or Perdition's Blade. Very, very good card for a rogue. Hmm. All right, well, there was my first arena run. And like I just said, it was full of a lot of misplays and a lot of confusion, and I don't really know what the hell I was doing, and I don't think I drafted particularly well, but I managed to win more than I lost, so I'm rather happy. I am pre pleasantly surprised. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed Arena Run number one, and I will be back soon with Arena Run number two.